In this week's episode of Aviation and Money, we take a look at the Hummel Ultra Cruiser Classic. We will review some of the airplane specifications as well as look into what this plane could cost if you decide to embark on the journey to either build or buy one of these slick looking ultralights. <laughs> The aircraft was designed by Maury Hummel in 1999 and first flew in the year 2000. This is the strongest ultralight around it seems, as per their website. It has a rating of 4G. The Ultra Cruiser Classic was designed to use a half Volkswagen engine. You can opt for either a 37 or 45 horsepower modeled engine. Either one of these engines will weigh in between 80 and 103 pounds. Options for the engines include such things as battery and dual ignition. Based on those findings, I'm guessing you'll be hand propping this baby. Prices I have found are $3,700 and $4,600 for the 37 and 45 horsepower models respectively. The neat thing is this ultralight is all metal. That's right, no wood, no fabric, or even a tiny bit of fiberglass in this plane. It seems that Maury Hummel was all about the metal. This is a part 103 ultralight as per the US regulations. It is important to note that should you consider to add the canopy as shown here, or if you choose the tri-gear option, you will fall out of the ultralight category in the USA, but it would still be considered an ultralight in Canada. First, Wings can be detached, so the plane could probably be stored in an enclosed trailer at the airport or even trailer back to your garage. If you're wondering how much that would save, see my other videos on airplane costs in the link above. And also, if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications so that you'll know when the next video is released. For now, we'll keep those wings attached and measure out to a 22 foot wingspan. So how big is that? Actually, it's about the same wingspan as my Lancer, which is perfect size in my ever so humble opinion. Length is at 17 feet and the main wheelbase is at 6.5 feet. The engine, as we mentioned before, is a 37 horsepower Volkswagen engine that will pull the plane to a never exceed speed of 95 miles per hour. The Ultra Cruiser has a super low stall speed of 28 miles per hour. Given that a professional Tour de France cyclist pedals between 28 and 31 miles per hour, it basically translates into the possibility that bicycles will pass you as you're coming in for a nice slow landing. Suck it up, you'll get over it. The other thing that a 37 horsepower engine will give you is a cruise of 63 miles per hour. Now yes, slow. However, pretty fast when you compare it to lots of other ultralights out there. But there isn't much to complain about when you realize that this engine will consume only 1.5 to 2 gallons per hour. Given that it comes with a 5 gallon tank, that's a few hours of fun flying for about $35 of gas. Like most ultralights, weight is the gotcha, and this airplane is no exception. With an expected empty weight of 270 pounds and a gross weight of 575 pounds, that leaves you with about 305 pounds of stuff and the official aviation definition of stuff is you and your best friend fuel let's end this video by getting down to the numbers this is an experimental which means you build this one lucky for you Hummel has come up with several options for you to choose from option one plans built this is your cheapest option it will also be the longest option to complete the plane and get your butt into the air as you will have to manufacture nearly every component of the Ultra Cruiser. The positive side is that you can possibly source the metal locally which could save you some more money on shipping costs. Option 2. Partial Kits This is where every section of the aircraft is split into sub-kits allowing you to pay as you go with separate purchases. This can save you time in the long run compared to the plans only option. Option 3. Full Kit This is the quickest, easiest and most preferred way to build the Ultra Cruiser. This kit includes everything you need except the basic shop tools to assemble the aircraft. 
No additional manufacturing is needed for any part. So should you decide to go with option one, the plans will set you back $335. As of 2020, this also includes the 3D assembly manual. Should you decide on the full kit, this will set you back a mere $17,900. Wow, you can barely buy a car for that price these days. You can also check out their website for costing on individual kits should you desire to go the option two route. Well, that's it for this episode of Aviation and Money, folks. Let me know in the comments section below if there's anything in particular you would like to see in one of our future episodes. We'll see you next time, and thanks for stopping by.